I'm almost feel like I'm understanding this song now. Samba. People think of samba is just a dance. <laughs> sambu. Sambu. Mockery. This is it. Samba to samba. From prayer to prayer, which is the sambuadi to sambuadi, which is what you want to call the Sabbath. Samba to samba. From this prayer to the prayer. Supposed to have love from samba to samba. This is what we don't have. From the time you worship, the day of our honor the most high to the next worship, you're supposed to treat each other right. And this was our problem. That's what the world don't understand. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm gonna talk in the morning. Sorry. I wasn't gonna do this video, but the mother was like, do the video. Like, okay, I'm doing the video. <laughs> Careful.
そうだなそうだなそうだなラブラブラブそうだなそうだなそうだなそうだなそうだなアレルヤーケンボルーヴーヴァムーヤーラーアケセラワーザンガナドゥデスビデオヤーバッドモンドウズムーヴィン。ああ、it's just my deepest feeling that there's some things getting ready to happen. And I really do believe, you know, I watched the video today and the tornado, it was actually, I, I saw this video. There was a tornado that hit here in America. And it's ironically, the tornado hit a Baptist church. And it's three days. The real three, like I said, it's because really they don't do the right. It's supposed to be three days before they're supposed to be doing the Easter service. And the church, the church was demolished. And I'm going to get to the significance of why. People should be paying attention to that fact that the tornado demolished a Baptist church. Okay. Because we know about my, we know that、uh, now that for those of us who choose to believe it, because other people are going to say, no, it's not true, that Simon Kimbangu, as, Yaya, as our elder said, was like the spirit of Ioanni the Baptist when. He preceded Sima Toko when the child of Revelation 12 embodied the spirit of Kuswa Kongo, Isaiah, in secret when he said he would come as a thief to take away the lampstands of the seven assemblies. Because people don't know, he took over the position of the Church of Laodicea. That's why they didn't want people to know he was here. And all the other assemblies. All the seven assemblies, he, is, he, he became the, when they said the government would be upon his shoulder, he didn't fulfill everything as they try to tell people in the, in the, as they thought. Some things had to be fulfilled later, as we now understand. Because not everything got fulfilled by the Messiah when he came from the Old Testament prophecies. What we need to understand is because religion has mistaught the scrolls of the Most High, this is why people are willing to so quickly say false, false Messiah, false Messiah, false Messiah, false Messiah, because they don't even realize is they already worship the false Messiah because of the deception. So, I'm going to first of all, Kemoto Tanzan, Pungut Leno, Matonda Masaki Jila for this message, Father. For those that choose to receive it, I ask that they, they open their ears, open their hearts, open their minds to know the truth. The Congo of Yisaya, the Congo of you, Father Yahweh, Yahweh Congo, the Congo of the Moanda Velila, the truth. That we might be able to know more and more in these days. There was a prayer that was done with the talk. I did a prayer with the talk with you.、Um, and it's funny how the words of wisdom already started to flow as I asked. Because Kuswa Kongo. It says, remember, parables can teach people many things about many things that give them lack of understanding. For those who will have an ear to ear, they will know what you mean. 
this is why he spoke in parable. Isaiah, Yusuf Christ, the one that we call Jesus Christ, that we never call him that, <laughs> but they believe it. No, 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 that's not. There was no Jesus in the Bible 2,000 years ago. They put that name in there to make you think that's what he was called. And it was no Jesus. That's a lie. This is one of the reasons why Kepa got upset with Paola when he went to the Greeks. And among the fact that I talked about Simon the Sorcerer took advantage of this when he was in prison. Jesus is not who they think is the Messiah because we did not call him that. Yesue, Isu, Isaiah, which is what they call Yeshu, Kuswa. Kuswa is where they get Yeshua from because it comes Yus, Kuswa, Yuswa, Yeshua, the Yiddish the lie, the Aramaic deception, okay? Because we speak in Galaki Congo. The Chiluba, not the Khazarian creation, <laughs> okay? This is where the world's gonna be shocked when they realize how big the deception is. I honor Kuswa Congo, Yisaya. I honor the Mwana the Holy Spirit. This is the true set apart spirit of the Motatangambi. I honor the 24 elders. I honor the Maleki Makongo, the angels of the righteousness. I honor all righteous uh, lineage from Adama down to today, of these children of Isolele, the righteous of them. I honor all of those who are in this awakening that are preaching, they're bringing the truth. Peace and blessings, as they say, Nuvuvamu was what that means. Yala! Meaning four, Judah, Yaounde. He was number four, Yala. That's what we call, that's how, that's how we would pray. That's how we would call our ancestor, our grandfather, that they want to call uh, Judah. You, you know, Judah, but it was no J, okay? That's why we in the so we say Simba Wayuda. They get this from us. Yaounde, the nasal was taken out. Okay. So the pair. What I'm going to talk about today is a couple of things. It's going to be kind of cut, combined. I'm going to revisit the deception of the remnant that many people have been preaching for so many generations of Christians. And they don't even know that they have the remnant completely taught wrong because of the fact that they don't understand that there was another captivity of the 12 tribes. Because this is what has been erased by those who call themselves, and this is what has been erased by Rome, who know this truth. But there was another captivity of the 12 tribes of, of, of the most high people. And this is what the world does not understand. In order to be called a remnant, you must be returning from somewhere where you were taken. Also, because the scripture talks about it, a remnant of nations, not a remnant of religion. This is the this is what the world is going to find out. You have you have a uh, all denominations of Christianity calling themselves the remnant. When the scriptures doesn't say that the remnant will be called by a religion or a belief, but the people who were given the name of the Most High would be the ones that would become the remnant when he said, okay. So let me break into this, share my screen. I'm not gonna be too long. The message is pretty clear. I'm gonna show you how Satan has deceived the whole world with the remnant. So that people are constantly thinking they are and guessing 
But this is where so many theologians and scholars, especially those who are working under the secret society guys, have been in the Jesuit deception are misleading many people. So the parable that I'm gonna speak in is gonna go back to something that happened to me when I was a little boy, when I was visiting my grandfather in the Virgin Islands to give you kind of an idea of how to better understand the chosen and who they are, okay? Because the, first, the one thing that I'm gonna ask anybody who claims to be of the Messiah, I saw you actually be Baklis to Abantu Benguela of Sonini Nanini. I am that I am. It says that the shepherd that you read about, it says, you hear his voice and he calls all his sheep by name. So what does the shepherd's voice sound like? And when did he call your name? Because everybody goes to church Oh yeah, I heard Jesus, he called me, okay? And here's the big thing. If you heard him, as, as you will say, because then people say, oh yeah, I heard the voice of the shepherd, da, 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 da. okay? Did he show you how to do the things that he did and more. This is a big key. Or did he show you <coughs> where or who his people are? This is where we're gonna kiss the thief what they stole. As I said, I know in my entire life of being a called a Christian in a Methodist church, believing in the Messiah, not once did I hear my voice audibly said by the one that they want to call Jesus the Christ, not once. But yet, I was a member of the church because the Methodist church is supposed to be part of the other assemblies. As they say, you guys are Baptists, evangelicals, or, or anybody any form of Christianity is supposed to be under the shepherd, right? But yet, not once did I ever hear the shepherd call my name until. I learned to call him Congo. Kuswa, Isaya. Why is that? So, I may have said this before, but I'm gonna kind of give people a, a re ref refresher. My grandfather owned several animals but he was, he had a very large, or at one time he had a very large herd of goats. When I was little, because they will tell you I was disgusting, as they say, <laughs> I wanted to interact with these goats, very much so. But there was always the ram that you know, you know when you have the ram, you have a problem with the ram who will butt you when he doesn't know you. Okay. So 
So this is my parable of what I want to call the catch and keep. In the Caribbean, there's this plant. I now know it's called the Acacia retusa. It says that you're supposed to avoid it when you're hiking because what it has, it's covered in hundreds of hook spines. Okay. I used to go into the goat pen and follow these goats around because I wanted to, you know, I interacted with them. And I found myself one time not aware of this bush. And I got hooked in it. <laughs> and I mean hooked good. I couldn't get out. <laughs> And I'm calling and I'm calling for help. My grandfather, and I'll see because this I didn't know, the baby goats have a problem with this plant too. It's called the catch and keep, by the way. And sometimes they get caught in it. So he thought I was one of the goats that got caught in the catch and keep, <laughs> as they called it. And then he found out it was me <laughs> that got caught when we kept it keep. Okay. So one of the things I'm saying, and as far as the parable goes, when I found myself where I was in a position where I was helpless, I called and someone came to help me, okay? And in all reality, this is what Kuswa Congo or Isaiah was making clear in Luca. And, the, and see now, by me getting caught in the catch and keep where I had no business, you know, I made a big mistake. I was, I was, I was, I was being a knucklehead, being stupid. I didn't know about this plant. I was young and it was, you know, I got caught in a snare. It's like being trapped in a snare. Okay. So here in this parable, he talks about the Pharisee scribe members saying, this man received his sinners and eateth with them. And he spake this parable on him saying, what a, what, a, what, a man, what man of you, or moon to of you, having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, does not leave the 99 in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it. When he have found it, he layeth it on his shoulders rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which are lost, which was lost. Now, the context, of course, in religion, when they go to the churches, it's like, oh, yeah, this is talking about all the people who received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. When really he's talking about the, the 12 tribes that are lost. Okay, this is what he's talking about. What he's saying is that the Bantu Bendwele, the Benakongo Bisolele, there are many of us, but yet he goes and leaves those of us who have found him or are already with him. And he goes to find the one and searches for the one. And when he finds you, then he rejoices and says, oh yes, I found my lost sheep. Okay. Now, taking the context what I was saying about my grandfather, he 
had a bunch of goats. Everybody else was fine, but he went searching for the one that was that was calling, that was in trouble. Which he found out it was me at the time. So he goes out and searches to make to find out where does where the sheep or where this goat is stuck, and and and, and rejoices to get him out. <laughs> I don't know if he rejoiced, but <laughs> you know. And he used to say, the damn stupid goat. <laughs> That's what he would say. But, you know, but the, the thing about it is, um, the reality is, Kuswa Kongo's mindset is, I'm excited that I found a lost sheep. Now, of course, in Kikongo, we now know this is the meme, which is what they've been mocking all over social media. They don't know that meme means sheep in Kikongo. And the meme means the lamb that was slain, okay? And as we, as they're narrowing this, what they think is the Easter that we now know is flipped, goes backwards. So it happened seven months ago, but they, you know, let them believe what they want. They, have, they say that my pastor don't lie to me. That's why the Most High said their sheep, they have a shepherd that they hear his voice. And the problem is nobody actually ever heard what it sounded like, but they still claim that the, that, the, that the Messiah knows them. How many Christians have actually heard their name audibly spoken by the shepherd they say they follow? Okay. Now, So of course he talks about the parable of the, the prodigal son. But then we go to Yorane or Yokana, John 10. He talks about once again, very rarely I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door and into the sheepfold, but climbeth in the, the same the other way, the same as a thief and a robber. So I'll give the same parable for me when my grandfather was, when it was time to feed his goats or when it was, they had gotten loose and he would call, pan, is it pan, 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 which is like, you know, they were in a pen. And of course they would respond to his voice and they would get back in there. Okay. Or they would come and eat when he would bring them in, you know, because what he would do, because sadly, I mean, you got mongooses, not mongooses, what is it? There was a, they got dogs that would eat your goat there sometimes. Or they have stray ram goats that would try to steal, that would fight with the other ram. So he would bring them into the fold and the market so they could, because he would go feed them for the pasture, he'd let them out, then he'd bring them back in at night. So they stayed together and they were safe in this pen. Okay. But I remember this is a this is the true story. When I would come in there, they didn't know me. Okay. And this is where the ram goat would come and start, boom, booting you, boom, boom, get out of here. I don't know you, okay? If I try to pet him, sometimes he, he'd run, okay? I don't know this guy. Who is this guy coming in the pen? This is an enemy, okay? But when my grandfather would come with me, now, this is the thing, if my grandfather was with me, then the, the ram goat would be fine. He wouldn't do anything. He would be, he would be completely cool with, you be, with me being in there because I was with the person who owns the goats. Okay? And of course, I believe sheep are the same way, if I'm mistaken. They don't like to be around somebody who doesn't look like their shepherd. As a matter of fact, 
And of course, like I saw the video, it used to, it used to crack me up, man. This shepherd led the sheep into danger and the ram started butting the shepherd. Boom, I mean, he just, wow, his hand hit the ground, okay? Because the, he heard the, the, the he heard the horns of the, of the cars. He's like, this stupid shepherd, he's gonna get us killed, right? You see, so the instinct of the, of the, of the ram was, this is not a worthy shepherd. He's gonna get us killed, okay? So he had determined, okay. So, so what happened with, with my situation, it says he who entered the sheepfold, not by the door, but climbeth in another way is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him, the porter openeth and the sheep hear his voice and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. Okay, so according to what we're reading here, Yesaya, Kuswa, he knows every one of his sheep by name. The, the one you want to call Jesus, is, uh, he knows every sheep by name. Which means he will say your name. You will know he called your name. Okay, this is the problem but many people don't understand. If he knows you, he will call your name. And he leaded them out. So I know the voice of the shepherd. I already know what it sounds like. It still resonates in my ear even now that I must remember that voice when the time comes that he leadeth the sheep them out because he's already starting to search. See, people understand he is now searching for the, the, the lost sheep and bringing them back into the fold of what happened 500 years ago with the kingdom of Congo. We all got scattered, but we're not gonna hear the voice of the shepherd till what, it's time to gather the sheep. This is what people don't understand. The sheep have been scattered. The remnant of the house of Isodele will hear the voice of the shepherd to bring them home. The calling. This is why the world doesn't know that your home, our home, is the kingdom of Congo. Okay. The Baklistu, or Sonini Nani. That's why when you ask people about the scriptures to understand the proper context, they will not know. Why? Because the shepherd that they are listening to is the one who came as the thief and the robber. And how do you know that? Because Look at all of the things that are happening in the world that they must be exposed to. Diseases, killing, cr criminality, being lied to, cheated on, all these different things. The good shepherd shows his sheep how to avoid many of the perils and pitfalls. However, you must listen, <laughs> okay? And you will also endure what? You will, well, you will, but you will then, but also you will flee. You will stop, you won't follow the, 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 she, the shepherds, the shepherds that don't match up. And he even says, all that came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. So there were many false prophets in the house of Esau today. 
this is why we struggle. We didn't, we, you know, when we when we realized he was here, that it was like, okay, now we know this is the real one. I am the door for it. By any man moon to enter, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. So here is the biggest dilemma that people don't understand. They truly believe that in their communities that they live in now is the pasture of the Messiah that he's talking about. But yet, when we go to Tatanzambi's vineyard, the Most High's vineyard, it is filled with what? Fruits and thus and, and food and, 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 and wonderful and beautiful things to eat. Okay? That you don't get, you don't starve, you don't get hungry. The vineyard. Is that really the case that you see going on today? You have people giving you food that right now causes people problems. The Most High is not going to give his, his, his sheep, his people food that makes them sick. Processed, different things. But the food that you will receive will nourish your body to where it becomes shiny and healthy. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. The thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. So now you have shepherds. This is what this is what you're living with. You have shepherds that say it's okay to be in a situation where you must go and kill people for your freedom. You have a shepherd that says you must go and get a job and, and do, or be a part of businesses that have a habit of stealing from others or glorifying their own personal gains. You have shepherds that want to encourage you to learn educational information that contradicts the creator himself. But it's okay. You must follow, you must listen to this. this, this. I knew people that I, I, that I knew plenty of teachers and principals and stuff that were in churches. The learning process. What are you learning? That many people, this is where we've been deceived. The good shepherd will bring you to the knowledge that will increase you in the Father. This is how we know. Okay, we tried to flee when they took us in the chains from these bad shepherds. Or when we had the, remember when we had the war that was going on, in, see people don't understand when, when Rome came, people tried to flee from Rome. They could tell, hey, these people, they're not teaching the right Jesus. We got to go. They try to run. That's why he said, my sheep will hear my voice and don't want. And see, this is why many were killed and slaughtered. Because why it says in Jeremiah 50, that there were shepherds who then, who were then made, that took the sheep, the, the sheep and caused them to be led astray. See, he says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Okay. Now, of course, we, we, everybody's talking about, oh, yeah, this is what we talk, celebrate. What are we doing? Okay. <laughs> People don't understand the misinterpretation. You are worshiping Tamu and you don't even know it because Isaiah came for the Banabeto of Isolele. But say, oh no, that's the whole world. Be careful on how they have modified things. He came to rectify 
what happened with the lineage before him with the righteous to get my right the book but then he came for what i came not but for the lost house of israel israel That's why he told the disciples, go but to the house, lost house of Israel. Oh, John 3.16. Let me break it down for you more clearly. <laughs> the world, according to that time frame, is not the same world you think today. Because his sheep were already in a righteous environment with the kingdom of Congo. And the shepherds that were placed over them went to the other pastor, causing those sheep to get be, uh, sent astray. Okay. Their knowledge and wisdom at that time would have been able to help others in the world. Okay. Which is why it says salvation comes through the bound to people. Yaounde, you sort of they put you, but that's not the word. They hit it. Okay. And Kuswa Congo, Isaiah himself said. to his disciples, only those who are worthy do you give the knowledge and the teachings and the truth, okay? Not everybody's worthy to receive the, the kingdom. This is the mistake that people understand. Yes, he may have come that others could find him, but not everybody would become found worthy. And he came to his people first. And then the salvation comes through them. This is the mistake people don't understand. So then the concept is the, the, the teachings were given over to the other nations to make the other nations, to make the people jealous. But that never put you on top of these people. Because it says, you sons of Yakubi are not consumed. See, no man take it from me. I lay down for myself. I have the power to lay it down and I have the power to take it up. And that's what happened with Mayamona when he was showing them, when he came with the Tower of Revelation 12, they couldn't kill him. It's like, I have the, the powers, who, who, that's how it works. Now, the problem with this scripture right here there, there are many people who are knocking on the wrong door. Okay. They're looking for a shepherd that is not the one they think he is. This is why the image that they gave you completely wrong. This is why the religious concept they gave you, the, the, the theology has, is, is contradictory to where you don't learn the real truth. This is what they did. They taught you what you should know, what you're supposed to believe, and you followed it. And he felt that this leads me to the door. And this is where Isaiah is saying, no, you're not talking, you're not even anywhere close. Because his sheep, okay, this is the reality of it. Yeah, the, Isaiah said even the Gentiles take care of themselves when he talked about them helping people and do the things, when he talked about his own people. Okay. However, 
to find the true connection with the door means you walk in his power. The sheep will have the appearance of the shepherd that loves them. Because of course, this is a parable, this is an analogy to how people should be when it comes to the Messiah. Therefore, then you become like Messiah and you help teach the whole world the way, okay? This is the issue of what happened with religion. You're not teaching the way. Because if you were teaching the way, then others would resemble the Messiah in spirit and in truth. Others would, would, would walk the same path. Okay? See, Christianity thinks that, oh, everybody, we got a preacher to air. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody must come in. No. Messiah said, Christopher Congo said, only go those, let's go to it. Matea. This is what he said. Therefore, I speak to them in parables because they see, see, seeing, see not, and hearing, they hear not. Neither do they not, do they understand. Uh, this is the parable of the tears in the week, which is coming. And when he called, here we go. And when Matthew 10. And when he had called unto them his 12, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal in all manner of sicknesses and all manner of disease. Okay. So if you call in yourself an apostle of the Messiah, this is the things you're supposed to be able to do. People don't even know all the, the unclean spirit. I already said this. They don't have just one name. <laughs> now the tub, because we don't name the apostles, they all changed it. But okay. Then he says, now listen to this. Thus the 12 sent forth command saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, which is the Mundeli, the Kadian Pembo at that time. But into the house, of course, we know that this is Somalians because they changed it, but Samaritans. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of, it's supposed to be Isolele, Isaela, because this is not the name of Yahuba. This is not Jacob's name. They changed it. This is Isis, Ra, and El. Okay. As you go preaching, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Here's what he says, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely you have received, freely give. So here's what's happening now with the world and what has happened with the deception of the fallen ones that are masquerading. You are now following apostles and shepherds and, and those who claim to be uh, keepers of the flock. 
And they, how many of you actually see them do all of this? And they collect, what are they supposed to be not provide neither gold, nor silver, nor brass in your purses? For when you go, so when he's telling them, when you heal the sick, you cleanse the lepers, you raise this, and you cast out devils, you're not supposed to receive anything for that. Oh, wait a minute. But yet you have so many people giving money to pastors every Sunday for their tithes and offering. And have you ever been in the service where they were doing this? Were they healing the sick, cleansing the lepers, raising the dead and casting out devils? Commanding unclean spirits, okay? Now watch this part. And into whatsoever city or town you shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy. So, well, whoa, 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 time out. No, you're supposed to just bring anybody into the church and, and say Jesus loves you and he wants you to be saved and da 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 da. He, but his own disciples, he, that he sent them out and said, you must find those who are worthy. And there abide to you, go thence. And then he says, and when you come into a house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. Meaning let your, what? What you have learned, the Salama, your, 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 your preaching, your come upon them. But if it not be worthy, let your peace return to you. Wait a minute. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who shall ever believe in him shall have not perish, but have eternal life. Let me tell you the problem with the first thing you said. You said God so loved the world. Well, his name is not God. That's the first problem. The most high love is for his creation. Yes. But the son only came for those who are worthy. And I come not but for the lost sheep of Isolele. But they... Once you receive, once they are found, then salvation comes to them. Because they are the ones connected to the shepherd. See, this is what has happened to in, in, in the teachings of the, of the gospels. This is why Paul said, if anybody come teaching you another Jesus, another that we did not teach. Because he came first for the Banabetu of Israel. And he said to only go to those who he, not every Bantu, Bakongo, Isolele was found worthy. And this is why people are arguing about who gets the gifts and who did not. Okay. And this is why we went into slavery for this part. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words when you depart out of the house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. So Mwene Congo, I mean, King Nzinga, and many of the elders of, Kikon, of Isolele rejected Kuswa Congo. And they went and received Jesus Christos. So now, verily I said to you, it should be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gordon in the day of judgment than for that city. So Mbanza Congo fell to the Portuguese. Because of this part, 
Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, but you be, be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as dove, because the Catholic Church at that time, and this is what people don't understand, were wolves. The clergy, the, the, especially the um, especially the cardinals. Oh boy, Ooh. those people they would stab each other in the back to be able to be in certain positions of power and jockeying for positions, especially when they wanted to become pope. People don't understand. They look all nicey nicey now, walking around and kissing babies and all this. Oh boy. Yeah. And still they do stuff in secret. People don't even know. But the Pope that existed during the 1960s hated the child of Revelation 12. He did not love Maya Moore. He did not love, why? Because he knew this person is above me. But I can't let the world know that. <laughs> and he's not white. Problem, 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 problem in a world that's supposed to be white dominated. But a black man is above me. Whoa, this is not good. Now they don't want to know we changed the image. That's why it was a problem. And then he said, and you should be brought before governor of the kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Oh, wait a minute. He came for everybody. Whew. No, because he's telling you the Ben Akon, and this has happened to us. We have come and been, you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. So this is what he's saying is, when you truly walk in the power of Yis, of Messiah, you will testify against the Makati and Pemba, the Mundeli, and the governments. The governors and the kings will be looking at you like, who, is, who are you? Who is this guy? Who is this woman? Who is this man? What, where is, why do they have this power? This is when the spirit will speak for you. And see, you watch when the Most High begins to move once again to restore the power to his people. This is going to happen to some people right here. Some people have already had it. Maya Mona uh, Simon Toko was in front of governors and kings. What in the heck? Are, who, who sent you? Okay. This is why the world sits so the sea. Like this, like I'm looking at right now. It's 28 degrees of April the 14th. Sorry. How this is a rarity, even where I live, to show you that the most high is not I mean, look at all the stuff I'm telling you. This is why I told you the significance of the church that was demolished was a Baptist church. Remember the suffering of Simon Kimbangu, the suffering of Yoane the Baptist. People don't even know in the assembly that it bears a name of who they claim to be following. That the world that you live in will make you suffer 
for being in the truth, just like they did to Simon Kimbalo. Because he embarrassed many pastors and many people who knew the Bible when he could actually do the things that the Messiah could do and more. This was not a good, this is why he said, you'll be taken for, before governors and kings and Gentiles. You watch. When the Most High begins to move in this day, they will look at you like, who is this guy? Who is this? Who, how did this happen? Where, do, where did you come from? Where, how, where, how do you have this power? Why can we, you doing this, we can't do that. Watch. There are going to be pastors who will be embarrassed what a, yet again. Because it says, like, like Simon Tuko said, there will be more coming like me that they, you cannot stop. You see, you have to understand something. When you are with the shepherd that is supposed to be followed. You will also be in contact with the other protection that he has with him, the Maliki Makongo, the angels are on your side. This is what people don't get. Even myself, I have to realize. And see, one of the things I have to say, because this is why I wanted to talk about the parable. If you become the sheep, that this is why I say, always going in, in this catch and keep, you keep getting caught, you keep getting snagged, you keep getting snared, you keep getting snared. Does there come a time, this is what we call the forgiveness, where the Most High can then decide, this person doesn't want this, and just cast you out. This is what Kuswa Kong was meant when he said, not everybody who calls upon me will I receive. Okay. See, here's the music and the dancing. And I know the music and the dancing is the Bantu way, not the way they've been showing you with these other people. It's all, that stuff that they do is not glorifying the Most High at all. That's not how David danced. That's a lie, period. David danced, Davidi danced like the Caribbean people. And jumping. So now let me go back to my Matea. Let me go back to uh, see uh, where did it go? I'm almost done. Here's the part where he talks about it. But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd whose own sheep the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and flee, and the wolf catches them and scattered the sheep. The vast majority, and this is exactly why we need to understand what this is what happened to us. The vast majority of Bantu Black people in this masquerade that you're that they're going to call Babylon are among these people that they were hirelings and not the shepherd. Okay. 
What I, what do I mean by that? They were bringing you to what was whipped into us and told what to say. And if anybody deviated from that, oh, I'm so sorry. This is when you got in trouble. This is why we try to tell people, no, the European mindset people don't have this. This not They're not following the same shepherd. Because you don't have to, let me share something for you. You don't have to convince somebody through physical force and violence to follow the true shepherd. This is how you've been deceived. This is why the enemy has come to kill and steal and destroy. You don't have to go and conquer people to say that you follow the good shepherd. This is one of the biggest lies about manifest destiny that ever existed. It is garbage. Oh, we have the, we have the, it was it, the whole concept of manifest destiny was we're the favorite people. We have the, we have the good book. We have the angel. We, so we can go forward and you, we can take, you know, we're in, we're entitled to what you have based upon the fact that we are the more, uh, that we have the blessing. And the most I have said, that is the most garbage mindset that have ever taught anybody. Because the Holy Spirit speaks for himself. You don't need to go killing people or doing whatever to do to people to get them to follow the most high. It's a lie. It's a deception. That's how the wrath, that's how the wrath of the most high has become continually on those that are not in the truth, that are teaching falsehood, that are not, that have, that have turn their ear from hearing the law, okay? Remember the true creator delivered the enemies of his people into their hands. They didn't have to do all the stuff that you see now going on with all the military and stuff today. Baloney. See, and now when the world sees how the Most High really fights, it's going to be astounding to see how it works when he delivers the hands of the enemies into the hands of his own people, which is what's about to happen because he knows there are many people who have become enemies of his true sheep and his flock and have many shepherds leading them astray, teaching false doctrines that are not sound by what is written, even what is written, you see, but have been modified when they throw the words in there and the translations to make you believe that this is what it says. So you just read it for what you read it the way it's written. He it said, this is the way it's written. Bam, 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 bam. We follow this. Never stopping to think that the wolves change anything. Because you have wolves that have changed the doctrines. The true, honored, pure scriptures, the pure teachings of the Most High, the wolves changed it. So that you would follow, you would be devoured by the wolves if you didn't follow what they say. That's what Rome did. This is what religion does. This is even in Judaism. You don't follow what these people say, they kill you. Look at what they're doing in Israel. The Sanhedrin will kill you. <laughs> people don't understand this. The Kabbalah will kill you. And the Kabbalah controls all of this. And <laughs> okay. So now, what has happened in this world is you have a lot of people who became hirelings when they got ordained for whatever they were. And not one iota of them 
are actually leading the sheep because they don't even know not everybody is the sheep. That's why now, as the Most High, as Isaiah is calling his sheep, it's like, oh, now we know, wait a minute. This is wrong. We, we were wrong. This is all wrong. This is the way we were supposed to be following. You, you shepherds over here, you working for the false shepherd. And you didn't tell us. This is what they do. And they're going to sit there and tell me, oh, no, yes, no, that's a lie. That's satanic. That's no. That's because it exposes the fact that it is true. As the world will soon see. You fell for the masqueraders. And the masqueraders brought you to the slaughter. Wait and see. The slaughter is already here. This is what they're experiencing right now over in Europe. All of their beliefs, oh my God, we believe in God, we believe in Jesus, we believe all this stuff. But wait a minute, but you're being slaughtered. This is what's even happening in America. We believe in God, we believe in Jesus, but yet you're being destroyed by natural disasters left and right. Even the churches are being demolished. This is what people don't understand. If you choose to follow the lies of society that continue to pile themselves up daily, even like what's going on, man, what happened in New York? Oh, man, don't even get me started about New York. Okay. But then zombie has shown my sheep, my people, when they follow the ways of the most high, Nobody can touch you. Nothing can harm you. No weapon formed against you so prosper. You will never fall. Is that the way it really works in the world today? That you can see this is the problem. because you got a lot of people yapping about what they know and what they can teach and what they can preach and how they can do stuff, but not one iota. Have you seen that does more than the Messiah did? Have you? What There's so many things that he did not written in here. Do you even know what they are? Do you even know the things that he <clears throat> The Manda Velala, the Holy Spirit, will, whatever you need to accomplish your mission, this is what you will have at your disposal. Whatever is needed will show up. Out of nowhere, if need be. If you have to go talk to someone, you don't have to save money. If you want to go by airplane, you don't got to buy, save money for the airplane ticket, you go. Here it is. Go, bye. When these got these pastors talking about, I need my jet to go. Oh my gosh. I said, oh my gosh. They don't even know, they don't even teach the truth. An angel, boy, this is gonna be deep. An angel, if it's, so, if it's so urgent, you need to get somewhere, what you will go, man. You go from, you go quick, choom, choom, choom. go through the portal, get over here now. The most high wants you over here. Choom. Wait, wait till the Most High manifest this power because see, 
it's not, it's almost time now. It's getting really close to when the Most High is going to call upon this power in his people. It's getting closer. And then you will see people like, oh, wow. That's how it works. That's what it looks like. Oh, man, I'm deceived. You were gonna see when the most high calls you to do something and you need to get somewhere. <laughs> people forget Philip vanished. <laughs> After he, he baptized the dude, he was gone. Where did he go? <laughs> this is where we've been deceived. Philip, uh, he vanished. <laughs> Where'd he go? He was gone. Where did he go? This is why they don't want to tell the truth about the fact that when they thought they had destroyed Simon Toko, he manifests in front of the people who tried to kill him. <laughs> what the heck? Where did he come from? He's supposed to be in pieces. How did this happen? That's what people don't get. And wait to see. There's people, man. I don't tell people. I don't, I say home, back home, I don't tell her. You, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> they say back home, you ain't seen nothing yet, boy. You haven't seen nothing yet. Because that's why they're getting nervous now. They're not going to tell it to you on the TV. They know what's happening. They know the spiritual world is changing. But they must continue to masquerade it the way that they've convinced you. See, because the remnant, I'm going to break down the remnant. The remnant is, first of all, of Isolele. And it's not going to be a whole lot of people that think who it is. Watch. And... The nations, the people who come out of the nations, they were scattered too. That's the remnant. Let's say, hey, can we come go with you? We know that the Most High is with you. These churches are lying. It is the remnant of the house, the 12 tribes, and the people, the nations they came from. Just like when they came out of Kemet. Kamata in Babylon. Oh, let's, can we go? We'd rather serve your creator than to be whatever judgment the Most High has for the rest of the nations. That's the true remnant. The 12, it even says it. Watch. Lamelia 31. At that same time, says Tatan Zambi, I will be the, umfu, the Umfumu or the Tatan Zambi of all the families. And the word family, as I learned, is Makanda. Mukanda of Isolele, and they shall be my people. Wait a minute. This don't have nothing to do with no Gentile turn to Christianity. Nothing. That this is the 12 tribes. So this is how you know the people over there, they're lying. This is why they try to claim now, oh, he brought them back into their land and he gave them Israel, the land of Palestine, but yet they're fighting for it every day. Really? Why would they have to fight for a land the creator gave to them? That don't make no sense. Because the most high, that's not how it works. When he gave them the land, when the, when the land was given to them from the land of Canaan, the Canaanites, the, Jericho, the, the, the wall fell down on the people, boom. No fight, they didn't, the, the 12 tribes, they didn't have to fight. What is, that's Sister Tanzami, the people which were left of the sword. And that's what happened. We actually got, we got destroyed by killing, found grace in the wilderness. So right now we are out in this scattered wilderness and we're finding we're, we're finding ourselves even Isolele when I want to cause him to rest 
Rest means you don't have to worry about fighting nobody. Period. As the zombie has appeared of old and saying, yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, have I drawn thee. Again, I will build thee, and thou shalt be built a virgin of Israel. Thou shalt again be adorned with thy tablets, and thou shalt go forth in the dances of them that make merry. So when the people have been restored, this is all going on. And there's nothing to worry about, the outside world and nothing. Thou shalt yet plant vines in the mountains of Somalia, is that Samaria? So now you know we're going to Embu. The planters shall plant and shall eat them as come as common things. That's why he said, when he when it is his land, the fruit is abundantly edible everywhere. For there shall be in the day that the watchmen upon the mountain shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go up to Sioni unto Tatanzami our father. Hello, I'm a watchman. For thus says Satan Zami, sing with gladness for Yakuba, the shout among the chief. Igwe, the nations publish, ye praise ye, say, the nations, the chief of the nations, publish ye, praise ye, save the people, the remnant of Israel, which is Isa Ela Isolele. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth and with them the blind and the lame, the woman with child and that travail with child together, a great company shall run thither. They shall come with weeping and with supplications will lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way wherein they shall not stumble. For I am the father of Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word, O ye, O ye nations, and declare in the isles afar off, and he say he and he that scattered Israel will gather him and give him as a shepherd does his flock. So when where do the people who have been adopted, how do they how do they fit in this? Where are they? The adopted people who are now supposed to be it, who replaced the people who rejected them. This is what he's trying to tell you. You've been deceived. Because only those who have become a Baklistu, a Bantu Benduela again, Ubantu, Bena Congo again. Benan Zambi, Benan Isolele are the ones he's coming to get the remnant of. And it's supposed to be declared in all the world. And this is why we're doing this. We're declaring this for all the world that this is who the Most High is coming for. And see, right now you're watching TV, you're watching all these different shows and everything. These pastors are talking about, oh, Christians, prepare for Jesus Christ. And then, and the most I said, look at it. Look, what I'm, look, this is this is who Yesiah is coming for. That's why there's gonna be some tears, boy. But the zombie has redeemed has redeemed Yakuba. So if he redeemed them, that means you can't replace them. You cannot be the you cannot become uh, an adopted replacement. And it's definitely not talking about the Esau Edomite converts. He's redeeming the true people. This is what you've been lied about. He's redeeming the Bena Congo, the Bena Yakuba, and ransom him for the hand of him that was stronger than he. Therefore shall they come and sing in the height of Sione, Zulu Mongo, Zulu Mongo. He shall flow together to the goodness of Tatanzami for wheat and for wine and for oil and for the young of the flock of the herd. 
and their soul shall be as watered garden, and they shall not sorrow any more at all. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be talking about the Zionists and the and the and the uh, Ashkenaz and Khazar and and the uh, what do they call them? Um, the um, the people who are now saying they're Jews, right? But wait a minute. Their, their souls are supposed to be watered garden means what? Full of life, full of uh, everlasting water. And they shall not have sorrow. Uh, there's some sorrow going on over there right now. Hello? There's sorrow going on in the land of Israel right now. Aren't people crying? And, and Oh, I got to have these men. Oh, I, I'm getting sick. Oh. What's happening? There's all this killing, this shooting. They just had, they just had a shooting. <laughs> People, you've been put to sleep. Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together. For I will turn their mourning into joy. So everything that the black Bantu people of Isolade, the Negroes, are dealing with, you don't have to, you know, there's no more animosity and shooting in the streets and all this gone for those who are called and make them rejoice from their sorrow these were the people who were singing all the sad songs in the in the cotton fields that's what he's talking about okay i'm gonna stop there so you must come to the understanding okay while i talk about in parables the Kuswa Congo has let his sheep know his voice. Isaiah, they're those, they know, I know what his voice sounds like now. And I know what to listen for because I'm going to hear it again. And so are many people who are going to find out, oh, wow, you got a Caribbean, Caribbean accent with a deep voice or like an African, you know, when they speak English. Yeah, I know his voice and that's the issue. The people don't, don't even know what the, what they say. Oh, I know Jesus, what does he sound like? Tell me, what does his voice sound like? Uh, I don't know, but I know what I'm saying by the blessed. You see, that's the thing. I was going to read one more thing. Isaiah 10, 22. For thou, your people of Isolde, may be like the sand of the sea. Only a remnant within them will return. And destruction is determined overflowing with righteousness. So if they have to return, they have to be somewhere. And this is when he's even talking about how they're scattered over the face of the earth. And it was always, every time there was a captivity, it was always a remnant. Now there's gonna be the final remnant. And it says, they will thoroughly glean as the vine, the remnant of Israel. And that's why the wheat is that that's a reference to the wheat will be, yeah, wow, those are the people. We can see this. They look like the people. They shine like the people. Okay. All right, Sambulolo, Zola Quingi, in a way that you have to call out Zambi Monene, Zambi Monene, Betuabu, Umbote, Salbona, Yenge, Luvuvamu, Yala. It's time, people. It's getting close. I mean, I'm just like, you could just set, people are even, we were in, you know, we we're talking prayer and they say, yeah, all of us can now see now things are really changing. The whole, I mean, there's, like I said, there's things that, that don't even seem right that are happening. You know, snow when you shouldn't have snow. 
tornadoes, I mean, tornadoes are ripping up everything. People aren't paying attention. This is going to be for those for those who don't who don't know. You know, there's been damaging winds. I mean, look at how many people are right now um, suffering before what's supposed to be the most celebrated holiday of the Messiah's resurrection. Why is that? If it's supposed to be such a joyous occasion to honor the Messiah who came, why is there so much suffering among Christianity right now around the world? People who are struggling, you don't have to understand, people whose houses have been flooded, gone, whole streets destroyed, communities wiped out before this time. People must understand there's obviously something going on with that. All right? And this, this, I'm talking about the, the natural disaster, the, the ones that the creator controls, right? Tearing things up. Sambulolo, Zola Queen.